case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1982, the United States District Court for the District of Connecticut heard the case of Hubline Inc. v. Federal Trade Commission, FTC, focusing on the FTC's denial of Hubline's request to shorten a mandated waiting period for a stock purchase. Hublin, an alcohol industry corporation, sought to acquire nearly half of General Cinema Corporation's stock. The Hart-Scott-Rodino Antitrust Improvements Act of 1976 required a pre-merger notification and waiting period before the acquisition could be finalized. Hubline requested an early termination of this waiting period, but the FTC denied their request. In response, Hublin filed a lawsuit against the FTC, its chairman and commission members, claiming their rights had been violated. The court ultimately ruled in favor of Hoibline, stating that the FTC had exceeded its authority by denying the early termination request. The ruling set aside the FTC's decision, allowing Hublin to proceed with the acquisition ahead of schedule. The court emphasized the importance of the FTC adhering to the law and considering all significant factors before making such decisions. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.